Well, it's been one month since the Bureau of Reclamation declared a tier one water shortage impacting agriculture in the West. As producers continue to cope, the ag sector looks for some new innovations to mitigate those water challenges. Well, Ju Julie Murphy with the Arizona Farm Bureau joins us now for an update on the situation. And Julie, thank you very much for your time this morning. Now, policymakers and climatologists, they're all pointing to climate change and saying more has to be done. What are farmers and ranchers doing through this? Farmers are always looking for the next best way to make their operations more sustainable, obviously. And some of these measures emerge in the form of infrastructure improvements and innovation. And by the way, American and Arizona Farm Bureaus are both members of the Food and Ag Climate Alliance, a coalition of diverse groups looking to create policy recommendations that generate these incentives for innovation and development while protecting our scarce resources such as water. Julie, how have farmers reacted to the shortage declaration in August? What's what was it or was it expected? Yes, and in fact, Arizona farmers have been preparing as best they could for several years to adjust to this reality. It was pretty much anticipated. So they're going to pivot to groundwater. Many of the farms have wells. Farmers always adjust plans based on what the weather serves up. We didn't anticipate a 20 plus year drought which many are calling a mega drought, but we adjust, regularly mitigating for weather outcomes. And I like what one Arizona farmer told me recently regarding the tier one shortage. This adjustment, he said, is going to be extremely difficult and will lead to long-term decisions about the future of our farms. He also added, innovation is not painless. Now, if you would talk about some of these potential innovations that are right there at the forefront for producers. Sure. They come in many forms, and some were laughed at just a few years ago due to the expense. You go to water meetings today with various stakeholders and technology discussions can sit around everything from cloud seeding, believe it or not, to desalination plants. This is not a new technology. 18,000 desalination plants in 170 countries are processing billions of gallons of salt water, so they exist. They reduce and once we reduce costs, more will be built. The other thing that's a challenge is these overlapping regulatory bodies create red tape, tape nightmares, is what I call them. One company, for example, in California has been in a 25-year, $100 million process to bring their desalination plant online. And perhaps with our drought challenges in the West that everybody's talking about, policymakers will make up will wake up to the fact that we must move faster on enabling some of these technologies. The really neat thing to talk about is what we're already doing. Other innovations that already reduce the amount of water needed for crops, they, there are such things as improved seed technology, irrigation technology. All of these have cut water almost in half in some instances, while at the same time improving our yields per acre, with, in something we like to talk about in agriculture. Um, a specific example to Pinal County, where the deepest water cuts will occur, we provide 40% of Arizona's dairy sales. These dairies require cattle. Cattle require feed. Alfalfa happens to be that feed, and it's grown in the same county to make it more affordable as fuel costs are reduced. So what does that mean? An Arizona alfalfa farmer gets up to 9 or 10 cuttings in a 12-month period, Often in the Midwest, a farmer gets no more than three cuttings over the same time period, and it's because we have so much sunshine, sunshine in Arizona. Alfalfa is efficiently grown in Arizona. We like to say we get more crop per drop of water just because of our efficiencies and our efforts with, uh, with applied irrigation management. All right. Well, Julie, thanks for your insight this morning. Arizona Farm Bureau Outreach Director Julie Murphy on the phone with us today out of Gilbert, Arizona. You can go online to azfb.org for more information on the organization.